According to the 2018 Stack Overflow Developer Survey, if you're a professional software engineer, there's a 71% chance that you use JavaScript. You might not like it, but you use it. In fact, you might hate it, but you use it, likely every day, because you have to. JavaScript is, for better or worse, everywhere. Browser apps, server-side, mobile, desktop, IoT, embedded, everywhere. So let me ask you something. Have you kept up with the changes to JavaScript? If your code still looks like this, or this, or this, then the answer is probably no, you haven't kept up. The syntax you're writing is called ES5. It came out in 2009 and was replaced in 2015 with a new syntax called ES6. There have actually been a number of new changes since then, but ES6 is the big one. ES6 introduced dozens of substantive changes to the JavaScript language, and those changes are now widely supported by different browsers and environments. So in 2019, if you're writing JavaScript, ES6 is the syntax you really need to know. Welcome to Keeping Up With The JavaScripts, a self-paced online course and learning community that's going to help you do exactly that. Keep up with the changes to the JavaScript language. This is part one, ES6, and this class is designed for two different audiences. People who have never coded in JavaScript before and want to learn it, and experienced engineers who know the old style of JavaScript, ES5, and want to upgrade their skills. So whether you have experience or not, this class is for you. We are going to cover everything you need to know about the new version of the language. But not just let and const and arrow functions, no. We're going to go deep. We'll be covering topics like spread and rest, maps and sets, destructuring, template literals, classes, try catch finally, the fetch API, promises, and more. And we're also going to go over practical skills you need to have as a JavaScript developer, like coding in OOP patterns, traversing the DOM, transpiling your code with Babel and Gulp, linting your code with ESLint, and packaging it up into front-end modules with Webpack. So whether you're a developer who wants to upgrade their JavaScript skills, or you're someone looking to learn their first programming language, this course is for you. This course is useful for experienced programmers, but we also take the time to teach each topic from scratch, so the material is suitable for ambitious first-timers as well. But let me give a warning to anyone who is looking for an easy JavaScript course. This isn't that. This isn't the kind of class that you can just passively watch like a YouTube video. No, this course is about doing, actually coding. In order to pass this class, you're going to have to write a lot of JavaScript code yourself. This class consists of over 20 hours of lectures, but there's also 20 plus homework assignments, five large projects, and a final exam. If you get through all of that, you'll earn a completion certificate and a permanent reference from us at purple.com. If you get stuck along the way, we've got teaching assistants standing by, available to take your questions in live chat or over email. Or you're welcome to post your questions in our Facebook group and talk about your code with other students in the class. I'm sure you're revving to go, but first we've got to handle some setup. We're going to start by making sure you have access to our student forum on Facebook, our GitHub repos with the example code for the lectures, and everything else you need to be successful in this course. Then we'll jump right in and start teaching you what makes ES6 different from ES5. All right, let's get started. Oh, and if you're watching this as a commercial somewhere and you haven't actually registered for the course yet, you can do that at purple.com.